we have long been intrigued by the notion of life on other planets, and our popular culture has been filled with images of UFOs for decades. But the first widespread documented sightings of UFOs in the real world came in the closing months of World War II. The sightings we saw were, I think, were in about uh, in the 44, and November or December then, we'd see uh, these uh, balls of light that would fly off the wings of our airplane. The one I saw was uh, like a white light. A lot of the other people reporting in it saw um, old red lights and some of them would see some green lights and some of them reported that they would that they would try to chase one why they couldn't they never could catch it we would turn into it and it would turn with us and we'd turn away from it and it would still turn with us and i put my gun sights on trying to get on it but i never could we flew the uh, British Mosquito, which was capable of 450 knots, and we opened it up a number of times and uh, tried to close with it, and um, we never came anywhere close to it. The pilots dubbed these unidentified flying objects Foo Fighters, but still don't know if they were German secret weapons, optical illusions, or something else entirely. I think the book is open on whether it was um, imagination, hallucination, or really extraterrestrial or uh, German ground control object, but I haven't seen anything in 50 years that changed the uh, perception of what they were other than unidentified flying objects.